Hi, it's Tanya here. Welcome back to my channel. So I was doing my hair and I thought I would do a quick video on um, having a straight iron. Now, most people use these, but if you don't, um, I'm going to show you why using a straight iron um, helps with gray hair. Gray hair can be a bit coarse and unmanageable. Um, and I just blow dried my hair and I am now straightening it. And the reason I'm straightening it is because when I blow dry it, if you see here, I've got some kind of um, curls. Um, close this door. I've got some kind of curls right here. Um, you know, just kind of waves, I guess. So when I blow dry my hair, my hair is like foofed out to here. And um, see in the back, see those curls there? And it's just kind of, I'll show you the back. It's just kind of, you know, it's kind of foofy and it, it's kind of lackluster. I conditioned it really well, you know, um, all of that. But this shine that you're seeing on the top, that's because I use the flat iron on that. So if you are not used to using any tools, a flat iron's great for many, many reasons. Why? is because first of all it's pretty safe it does get really hot and you would burn yourself if i grabbed myself here it's but it's a bit safer than a curling iron and it takes this little see that dent in there and it just straightens it out and this one is the conair um conair i think makes the best to and see how i rounded that you you make that rounded bob if you like that look um and i even do my bangs my bangs are kind of they kind of shrink up a little bit and um i just straighten them out a little bit now this one has some high pretty high heat settings let's see it goes up to oh it's got numerals so it doesn't really tell you what degrees it's on i have mine set here at about 13 um, but it gets really hot. Um, a good iron will go up to 350, 400 degrees. Um, so you want one of those. But see that little curl there? We're going to take that out. Just go like this and slowly bring it down. And look what it does to your hair. Look at how smooth and shiny it is. It's not you know, heat tools aren't great for the hair shaft, really. But, you know, if I just wore my hair, like if I blue dry it and I just wore it out like that, it just looks like it's just poofy. It's just poofy. It's unmanageable. It's not shiny. I mean, it is shiny. But see how much more shiny that is with the straight iron? So that's what I do. I just straight iron it. I go through, and you know this little, see those hairs there? They kind of do that. What you do is you get up here in your hairline, you grab your hair at the hair, at the base of your hairline here, and you just take that wand right to it. Don't go, you know, don't burn yourself, but, you know, and just kind of slowly bring that out. And it'll see how it smooths out all of that stuff? Okay, I've got a few that's static electricity right there but um, it just smooths it out it just makes it look so much better I think just gives you an overall smoother look and under here where it's kind of curly just kind of straightens it out anyway I thought that might be a helpful tip so if you don't use a straight iron just know you can. Even if you have bone stick straight hair and your your gray hair seems to be kind of thick up here, especially in the scalp line. Now see, this is static electricity that's holding that up. I'm gonna spray that down with some Sleek and Shine, which is my one of my favorite products ever. But I just do that and I just kind of smooth it out a little bit gives me an additional probably inch of length when I do that and it just kind of you know see, it just kind of makes it nice and 
smooth and it just helps and I can curl under with it too. So anyway, that's what I do. And then I grab some of this Brute Tea Sleek and Shine. And I just spray it on there. Calm some of these hairs down. They can behave. You gotta make hair behave, but look at how shiny that is. Oh my gosh. I usually use only one squirt. But see, it's just so much shiny and bouncier. It's better. So if you have started to grow out your hair gray and you went, oh my god, it's so wiry and so thick and coarse. Try straightening it out. And you can even wear it curly at this point. If you wanted to take this straight piece and you want it to now make it curly now that it's smooth, you could see you could still do that with this as long as it has got the rounded edges. That's why I love this Conair Infinity Pro. See, now it's smooth and curly. So, you know, I just love it. It's so helpful when you have gray hair, you know. All right, so that's my tip for today. Click subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Um, newcomers, welcome, and we will catch you next time.